So, UFOs are real, but are they dangerous and who makes them? Welcome to Hide and Seek Media. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. And let's get into this, right? So, today's video, obviously, we're talking about UFOs. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird subject, right? Because I'm kind of torn on it. Like, well, I'm not torn. I believe UFOs are real. Um, aliens, I kind of got to believe that, too. I got to believe that there's life outside of us on another planet somewhere. You know, there. it's hard to believe that in this entire universe, millions of you know, solar systems and, and, and stars and all that, that we're the only life. I mean, come on, it's pretty arrogant to believe that. Um, but, you know, UFOs, right, there, or <clears throat> UAPs, as the military likes to call them, and that's, we'll get into, you know, that's a whole other thing, right? But, so UFOs, they've been talked about for decades. Right, people have said, I've seen weird lights in the sky and weird shaped objects in the sky. And for decades, the government's always denied it. Then I, oh, that's, you're just weird conspiracy theorists or, you know, you're a lunatic people who are just tripping on some kind of weird drug or something. And you, you didn't see what you saw. You're just, you know, making it up. Stop it. Well, turns out that was a load of crap. And that it's really real. And that these things, that these <clears throat> unidentified aerial phenomenons, or AA, UAPs as they like to call them, uh, apparently they're real. Right? Like Last month, this, this video one, of three pyramid shaped UFOs gathered by UAP was leaked to the public. According to the Pentagon, the video was captured by Navy officers aboard the USS Russell off the coast of California in 2019. A freaking triangle? Hello? A, basically a pyramid, a floating pyramid in the sky and just... No, we're not going to talk about... I'm not going to talk about that, right? We're not, the fact that they've denied the, the, the existence of this for so long, right? When they've known about it. I mean, they've had departments in the government studying this crap for forever. And think about it. The government denying it for years and years and years kind of makes me wonder about what else they've been right so you have these pilots who have seen all these crazy things right and of course you have all the other stories from like way back you know all from the farmers and all these people in all these you know backwood country places they'd say that they've been abducted by aliens and all that they probably saw something in our come you know their brain made up something to cope with the the trauma that they experienced of seeing something like that up close um, but well at least that's my opinion I I don't I'm no doctor and I don't know that but it seems to me that one of the questions that we need to be asking about these UAPs is who built them? Where'd they come from? How did that how did that advanced of technology come about on this earth without us the major superpower on the planet knowing about it? Kind of weird, right? How do we not know about it? And if we're not part of it, according to this guy, Chris Meldon or whatever. Here, let's know what he has to say about whether the government is actually a part of it or not. <clears throat> right? So, if it's not us, who is it? Is it China? Uh, Russia? I don't know. They could have the capability to come up with this kind of technology, but I, I don't know that. I, I doubt it. Uh, you know, but hey, we're just now hearing about uh, how the Wuhan 
lab leak theory is probably more viable than everyone was letting on to believe while Trump was president. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe China is hiding all kinds of stuff and we don't know about it. <clears throat> you know? Who, maybe it's Russia. I don't know. But, they say it's not us. So, if it's not us, it's not China or Russia, well then you have to think it's some kind of alien life form that's living amongst us on this planet, <clears throat> observing us and, you know, reporting back to whatever, you know, on, on some kind of Star Trek or scouting mission or whatever, who knows? I don't know, I'm just, you know, throwing out all kinds of weird crazy ideas here because they're obviously real and the government has been lying to us about it for decades. So that brings me to what else the government has been lying to us about, right? If they've been telling us that this isn't real for decades, right? And then it comes out that, oh, no, 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 we've been lying about that for, we, we don't, we haven't explained why we've been lying about it. We've just been lying about it and not really been doing anything about it at all. You know, while these, you know, advanced aircraft are invading our airspace and have the capabilities way far more advanced than our aircraft. So why hasn't that been investigated? Why hasn't our government put money into investigating? And here's where I'm going to throw a little curveball in and maybe take this somewhere that I haven't heard anybody take it anywhere yet. And I may shock you a little bit. So if you haven't, si you know, so, be prepared. Here it comes. Are you ready for the curveball? Because that's what Trump was doing with the Space Force. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Trump already knew about all this stuff because he had access to all these, you know, classified you know, reports and all that stuff. So, hey... What better way to, to figure out how to combat this in case, or to be prepared for something in case we need to be, right? Let's create a space force. Not only can we use it for space exploration and whatever, but let's start advancing, you know, trying to advance our technologies to make those kind of capabilities like these other unidentified aerial phenomenon or UFOs, you know, have been flying around let's try to see if we can make those kind of advancements right but we need a department we need a, a whole you know department to do that under let's make the space force uh, I'm not saying that's what it was for like I don't know if that's what Trump was did that for but it seems pretty logical to me that if you know there's some crazy you know ships out there, crazy aircraft out there that can fly around and do maneuvers and capabilities that our aircraft are, are nowhere near doing, then it might be a good thing to create a, you know, branch of the military that is designed to combat these kinds of things and, you know, research these kinds of things because, you know, when, you know, I, I would like to know what the heck that that is I mean that's some crazy stuff I mean that pill shaped thing goes from this way and it rotates what what kind of aircraft do we have that does that that can be flying like this and then just rotates but still is going this way while it's rotating well, I, I, I don't know any if there is leave it that leave a leave it down in the comments if you know of an aircraft that does that you know that someone's design leave it down in the comments below so and let me know because I've never seen anything that does that so that's kind of crazy so all in all UFOs are real right the government's come out and said that now so and now you obviously seen the few video clips I've played here that show they're real what else has the government been lying to us about what else have they been calling a conspiracy to hide the truth? Why have they been hiding this? What makes them, what makes these unidentified aerial phenomena worth hiding, right? If you don't know what they are, we're not, we're not designing and building these things 
then we should be researching and finding out who is, right? Because we need to be at the forefront of all these kind of capabilities if we want to stay the superpower in, you know, the world. So, in the end, the government can't be trusted. They lied to us for decades about UFOs. What else are they lying to us about? If you want to know, check out some of my other videos. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I appreciate you watching. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video and your opinions on the topic. And I will catch y'all later. Peace.